Hello and welcome to the channel. I want to say thank you guys again for subscribing to the channel, you know, supporting it and watching the video. So in this video, I wanted to talk about Game Pass. And for me, I feel like there's a lot of value there, especially when it comes to certain games. Um, the first party games, I know that I will never have to spend 60 or $70 on them. And I just pay $15, so much cheaper than paying $70 for a game that I know I might not even get to finish. You know, just like my many collections back there, but we shall not speak about that. Anyway, um, I've been hearing people complaining about Game Pass and not having AAA titles. Well, Game Pass is adding AAA titles, or should I say Microsoft is adding AAA titles into the Game Pass. So let's go ahead and look at some of the games that are coming soon, as well as some of the xCloud games that's already there and maybe coming in the foreseeable future. So let's go ahead there. Be right back. Alrighty. Here we are. <clears throat> As you may notice, the medium dropped on January 28th. Um, little mixed reviews from this game. Uh, not a fan of the controls. The graphics isn't all that, but you know, it's a filler. I guess some people would say it's a filler. It's not a full AAA title because full AAA titles, especially on the Xbox side, it's going to be fifty nine ninety nine and up. Um, not, I'm sorry, not up because Microsoft isn't charging seventy dollars for the games like Sony does. Alrighty, on February eleventh, we have Final Fantasy what twelve Zodiac Age coming to Xbox Series X X X and S. I hate that name, man. It was just, ugh, it doesn't roll off the tongue. Jurassic World Evolution, Stealth, Wolfenstein, Young Blood. Um, I think it's going backwards. Should be going up. And Control. Control is a hell of a game, but I went ahead and I added it to my um, my collections for the PlayStation site so I can play it on my PS5, and it looks, ugh, looks delicious. It looks delicious on the PC, too, if you have the hardware. Okay, and then February 18th, so that's tomorrow, we have Code Vein, Pillars of Eternity 2, Dead Fire, never played any of those. Wreckfest, I might play this one though. I might add this one on. I might do that right now. I'm gonna add that. I'm gonna add it on my phone until my Xbox can start downloading it. Killer Queen Black and Dirt 5 is a AAA title and a next gen title, even though, like, it suffers. When it comes to when you put the frames at 120 hertz, it you know pulls the graphics down, or I'm sorry, the quality of the, the visuals is uh, dimmed down. So that's a uh, that's huge right there, right there, right there. Yes, there. <laughs> Dirt five. So that's coming out February 25th. So I'm probably going to preload this one as well too because I want to play it and see what everybody is saying. And that's supposed to be the next um, next gen game, supposedly with uh, Assassin's Creed and etc. And you also have Elite Dangerous and Super Hot Mind Control Delete that is also coming. And these are the platforms that are supported. Now I'm not sure how many games they have added to their browser version of uh, XCloud. I do want to check that out. I will want I want to try it out and see how it is. And games that are leaving are Shadows of the Damned on the 16th, Dirt 4, obviously, because Dirt 5 is coming in. So you have until the 24th to play the shit out of Dirt 4 if you enjoy Dirt 4 before it gets rotated out with Dirt 5, which actually makes complete sense. <clears throat> you also have Mamandora. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Mother Russia bleeds. It's leaving Game Pass and PC. Ox Free is also leaving. Jackbox Party Pack 4. And what's that? Vain Vain Brace? Cold Soul. Anyway, that's that's those are the games that are coming and going from PC, Xbox One, X to Xbox Series X and S and X Cloud. Anyway, um anyway. Um, Game Pass provides value, $15, value, 
And if you haven't subscribed to Game Pass yet, you can sign up for only a dollar for three months. Come on, man. That's pretty cool. Um, for me, um, I usually buy Game Pass passes on eBay um, or some third shady resellers because I like to deal with shady motherfuckers because they provide the service for a lot cheaper than what you can get it from from Microsoft. Because if you get, oh, well, should I say? I'm sorry, not Microsoft from reputable resellers like Amazon, Walmart, Best Buy, etc. That's why I go through the shady motherfuckers. I do not want to pay those prices. Or I can pay fifteen dollars a month, which I'm paying right now. But I will. I do. I wish that. Um, sorry, my mind is like all over the place. I do wish that Microsoft made a twelve month subscription to Game Pass. Um, technically, it would be double the price. It would be about what one hundred and twenty dollars, because if you calculate fifteen dollars. <clears throat> a month that shit adds up it adds up way more than um than if you just buy the subscription base so there you go so if you buy if you pay $15 a month for 12 months that comes up to about $180 instead of if you buy the what is it it's like 45 for 3 months right so 45 that's another 3 months another 45 another three months so three months six months right three months six months what nine months and then one more for 12 months oh shed comes out to the same price yikes that's why i say go go talk to those shady motherfuckers because they can get it for you for a lot less not 180 dollars you do not want to pay 180 dollars it's a lot of money Oh, shit, man. Let me stop being weird. Anyway, I, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like, subscribe. If you make it this far, holy shit, man. You're the best. You're the bomb. You're the man. Because I know that I, this video went on a little longer than I wanted it to. But anyway, have a good one. Have a good day. Yes. Yes.